Hello everyone. Okay, so I just want to let you all know that America would be a crime free zone, which would be no crime at all. None. Zero. CFT. No, uh, hold on. Let me phrase that. CFZ. Crime free zone, which would be C crime. F free Z zone. Crime free zone. None of that would exist. Uh, okay, it would exist, but none of that would ever happen if I was the president of the United States of America. You want to know why? Because everybody should be safe and alive and be healthy and take care of the things that need to be taken care of. One of the things I would ban if I was the president of the United States would be alcohol alcohol because alcohol there would be if that was banned it was illegal there would be no drinking and driving nobody would be getting drunk and fighting each other and going crazy yelling at each other getting mad for nothing because if that was illegal and if that was wrong if, I mean nobody would be able to do it doesn't matter what anybody says or does Nobody would be allowed to do it. That's one of the things I would ban. The other things I would ban would be um, the use of the N-word. No, but, or any racist word for that matter. That kind of racism would be illegal. You know, that kind of racism, anything saying that. I'm not saying African Americans or any other race would be banned. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... The use of the word, of the saying it, would be illegal. Because that hasn't made it better, that's made it worse throughout decades, for his, throughout history, especially in the United States, in our country. It's made things worse. Has that word ever, ever made anything better? No. And anybody that would destroy cars or break windows or burn down buildings and fight that's not a protest that's a riot a protest would be like Martin Luther King did him and his guys come together lock arms hold up signs and demand change that's a protest if you don't know the difference then you're not educated you don't know your history because if you knew your history you would know the difference between a protest and a riot would I ban riots too oh you better believe it because riots cause crime, and crime is wrong. It's illegal. Most countries, you do something like a riot, you will be in trouble. They would have you deported, locked up, killed, whatever. Because most countries like Iran, Russia, China, Pakistan, a lot of other countries don't tolerate it. They don't. Google it if you don't believe me. Um, and that's just a few things I would ban. For everyone's safety, for everyone's health, to keep everybody alive, you know, keep the American people from killing each other, because that should not be happening. And these politicians want to go on TV, but they don't want to talk about these things. Why? Because they want to, for agenda, their agenda, they want to cover up things that are not supposed to be hidden. So, you know, I couldn't be no president because those things would happen. But, you know, it's for everyone's safety. It's for everyone's health. You know, everyone needs to be healthy, taking good care of themselves. You know, washing themselves, taking good care of their bodies and being healthy. And not doing things you're not supposed to be doing. So, and I would uphold the Constitution and I would be educated and I would read it. And by the way, if you don't want to vote for me, that's fine. But if I do get elected in the future, years from now... I have a long ways to go, very long ways to go, but if when that day comes, when that year comes, when that time comes, if I'm elected after I run and I'm elected, this country today would be the best country the world's ever seen and heard. Mark my words. I love my country, but what I don't love is alcohol. What I don't love is drinking and driving. What I don't love is car crashes. What I don't love is... American people dying from things they're not supposed to be dying from. 
that would be avoided because it should not have ever happened. Yes, it happened for years, but these these kind of things would not be a thing if I was president. Our country is still the laughing stock right now, and thanks to Biden, we all know what that means. So, and I know, and I'm aware of what's going on, and I didn't even vote for the guy. I never voted in my life. Yeah, I'm registered to vote. Should I vote? I think until the country gets back to normal and everything is better off without everything I just told you, I think that our country is better off without these politicians. Most of these poli- – like 60, 70 percent of these politicians need to resign. They're too old. They don't know what they're saying half the time. They don't know what they're up to. They don't know how to read an executive order when they sign it into law. Joe Biden. And it's just, he's, guys, he's got to go. Look up his history. You, you know, he is racist, too. He's a racist president in office. Now, nobody said that when Obama was in office because he was the first black president and the 44th president of the United States of America. That's why no one mentioned much about that. And the media didn't show the racist that came out and tried to do things to everybody that's not white. Because they want our country to be a white country. That's something like Europeans would say. Not all of them, just a few of them. Alright, so that's all I have to say. I'm out.